<laughs> yeah, it ended a bit too soon, didn't it? I was really enjoying myself. <laughs> it was only like 20 minutes. We were kind of expecting like an hour long. No, we love trains, so we're a bit disappointed that you missed them. Six euro for a day pass. It's kind of expensive. It's not 24 hours. It's just oh for the God, day until the day ends. I don't know. It was a lot cheaper in. Um, where did we get one before? It was Brussels, wasn't it? Yeah, but uh, Bruges is really touristy, yeah. so we knew it would be more expensive. We're in the Markt Square in Bruges. It's got a lot of historical buildings, monuments. And we're headed up there, Belfry Tower. This is the famous one from the movie. You know the one, Colin Farrell. Look at how miserable all of these horses are. They just have to, they basically just have to stand there all day, not moving, waiting for tourists to come and spend money to ride them on a the cobblestone. Please don't support it. Yeah, don't support animal tourism like this. It's, it's terrible, it's torture for them. Ten bucks to go up the tower if you're young like us. How young? 25 and under. <laughs> through the tower. It's a good thing there's walls. You just be fit. You literally have to go up the stairs. Yeah, just be fit. Come to a cute little cafe to get vegan Belgian hot chocolates. It's in a really sleepy, pretty square. Uh, it's actually it's more of a triangle of buildings, but they call it a square. We asked the woman, could she make uh, the hot chocolates vegan, and she was like, oh yes, she was very friendly. Everyone in Belgium has actually been really, really friendly towards us, which is nice as a tourist. She lived. The cat is down yeah. <laughs> So it's, it's just something to say that I yeah. have vegan muffins. With Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Okay, so we've had vegan hot chocolate a few times and I think what they do is they put actual chocolate buttons at the end. Oh, they do, yeah. So you can see. So then you mix it. <laughs> I know. And so then, good. So you mix it in. <sighs> like every vegan hot chocolate we've had has come like this. We think that's the nicest one so far. And we've had a few hot chocolates. Yeah, even if you're not vegan, come here because the, the lady is so nice and it's so good. It's delicious. They, have, they also have not vegan stuff too. I'd almost get another one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just hold it because it's actually really cold in Bruges right now.
a lofty claim in Belgium, isn't it? I don't know if I trust it. <laughs> we already know where to get the best yeah, hot chocolate. We, we already had the best hot chocolate today, so they're clearly lying. Belgians are crazy. They make chocolate versions of everything. Can we buy that one, look? What is it? Nougat. There's so many different kinds of nougat. I love how they look. Oh my god, they're like a little nougat loaf. Fuck, that looks like good nougat. <laughs> so where are we after now? Oh, out of the way of this bike. So where are we after now? Well right now, we're going to a place... I can't pronounce the name of it, but I'm going to put it up. Right there. And we're, I'm going to go try a beer degustation. Do you have to call it that? Yes, I have to call it that. So I'm going for a beer tasting experience. It's kind of perfect for me because I'm kind of a beer enthusiast. And by that, I don't mean that I love getting smashed. I just I really enjoy trying different beers, all the different colors and flavors and aromas. Like, there's so many different types of beer. And they all, in Belgium, pretty much every beer I've had tasted totally, completely different. Still delicious. So right now I'm going to go taste beers. <laughs> I don't like beer. Say again? I don't like beer, but I have to come here. You don't have to drink the beer. I have to come here for the video. <laughs> <laughs> See where we going? We're, uh, we're going down this cozy little alley. Come on. You call every one of them cozy and That's cute. They're all cozy and they're all cute. I, can't, like, I, can't, I don't know any more words to describe them. Steve, is this the cozy street you're on about? No, it's actually, it's actually really hard to know what to film here because every street is picturesque and lovely and amazing and nice to shoot. But if I shoot all of them, oh. everything is going to look the same. It's a bike car park. And well, it's stylish. Yeah, well, you don't get those back up. So we're here now at La Trappe East and hopefully they can sort us out with some beer. These do have beer tastings. Look, you get, you get to try five beers. They had a big long list. 21 different beers you could try. So I don't know, I just picked like the ones that look the best. And I asked uh, the guy for some recommendations too. It was 13 euro, which isn't so bad. Number one, Delirium It's almost like, like champagne, but it's beer. It's really, really nice. This is the quadruple beer. In Belgium, they the beer come in like a double. Triple quadruples, which are really strong. Chocolate. Wow, that is also really smooth and good. Number 18 is. What was it? Vivid Master. It's almost a mango. It's really bitter. Yeah. Bitter, it's like bittersweet and fruity. This is number one. This is the house beer. You can't get this anywhere else except here. What's that? It's really good. It's not too strong. It's really smooth. It's not fruity or anything, but it's kind of it's kind of sweet. This is rosé hogard. Oh no, it's raspberry hogard. Just, just tastes like raspberry juice. <laughs> <It just laughs> tastes like That's beer. dangerous. To be honest, I actually prefer. I wish it tasted a bit more like beer. Check got our Airbnb for Bruges. Uh, we can't remember what the price is, but I'm gonna put it right here in front of Edith's head. On my face. <laughs> this is actually a really fancy house. Okay, what's you got there? I don't I don't know. I think it's like a tofu ball. I got it from that uh, that organic shop. Origin O. Or Origino or something like that. Or Origino. So it's like a tofu ball. It only costs like two euro. And I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> it looks like there's like rice in there too. It's definitely deep fried. Oh wow. Is it gross? Mm, no. It looks really no. weird. It's a curry tofu rice ball. <laughs> okay, yeah, that can't it's be gross. So yummy. We're just waiting at the airport to go home. Our adventure in Belgium is over. 
Well, we could probably spend the rest of our lives sipping hot chocolates and strolling through cobbled medieval streets. Uh, unfortunately, we gotta go home and save money for our next adventure. Uh, but thanks for joining us on our trip to Belgium, guys, and we hope to see you again in the next video.